briefly on uh, amendment, uh, speaking to amendment uh, 224 and amendment 261, and slightly share my views on the question of fluoridisation. And I do agree with Lord Ray that it's a pity we didn't have a proper full debate on this matter. Uh, there is a real problem amongst young children, particularly those young children in deprived communities who have increasing levels of uh, bad teeth, of dental decay. And you would think, as a result of the, that situation, we'd be trying to do something more proactive about that. Yet we see dental inspections in schools decreasing and decreasing. I remember when I was first a head teacher, the dental services would come in twice a year to inspect children's teeth and would give a little note uh, to the parents so they could go to the, the dentist. The second problem we face is that of uh, NHS, as we've heard from Lord Hunt, of NHS dentists, particularly in deprived areas, they neither love nor money, you cannot find them. And that is a real problem for those families who can't afford to use a private dentist, even if there was one available. Uh, my Lords, in, in Liverpool, when I was leader of the Council, uh, all political parties together, I have to tell my colleagues, uh, decided against fluoridisation. They all voted against that. Because we took the view that if that's the case, you don't want fluoridisation, that perhaps there's a different way of doing that. So we were setting up children, the network of children's centres in the early 2000s. We therefore made dental health in the 0 to 5 age group one of the highest priorities in the City Council's strategic plan. We also issued additional guidance to our primary schools, asking them to make encouraging better dental health a higher priority. As a result, 10 years later, the 2013 British Dental Association 10 yearly survey showed a reduction in Liverpool schools of 28% had been achieved. The target approach achieved an outcome double that identified in the York review as the average carries reduction from fluoridisation. We all will also have helped many children develop lifelong good personal dental hygiene habits, habits which is crucial to part of the strategy. Uh, my Lords, whether we have fluoridisation or not, we do need to be absolutely sure that the journey we're going on is correct. Uh, and in the meantime, we should be looking at other ways. We should also be looking at uh, what our colleagues in Scotland have been doing with the Children uh, Child Smile Project, which again has shown to be uh, less, uh, more safe, less wasteful and more effective with better value for money. So, my Lords, I hope we at some stage will revisit this issue and have a much longer and more considered debate.